Good afternoon, my name is Denise. I will be showing you guys how to set up the piezo in your ops. So to begin, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have the piezo of your choice. They have the newer piezo uh, set up or the older piezo set up. And to get a head start, you wanna make sure you have everything out, everything ready to go, so you can have a quicker start time with your assessments and things of that nature. So to begin, we're gonna first start with the obvious power source this is your plug you should have plugs here in your units or you have one here it just depends on your unit setup whichever one you'd like personally we're gonna go ahead and plug this in right here so that's plugged then you will take this in and plug it into your piezo setup and you will make sure that it's on with the blue power button that will be lit up so you will set this here try to make sure you don't tangle up the cords um, just to ensure that the piezo works correctly and it's taken good care of the second thing you're going to do is your water cord this end will plug into your unit underneath if you have a 12 o'clock system it will go under here if not you have the table it will probably plug into the chair so with this particular one, we're gonna plug this one into the 12 o'clock unit. So the first thing you wanna do, which is very important because you don't want water to go everywhere, you're not gonna plug this in first. You're gonna plug this part into your piezo, which will go right here. You're gonna make sure you press it in and it will literally snap in. So that's secured and ready to go. You're going to set this down. Then this part will come underneath the table here. It's gonna be the blue water. So this little prong here will clip on, if you see this little clip here, it will clip right in there. The reason why we plugged in, plugged it into the piezo first is so water doesn't go everywhere. So you're just gonna push and snap and it's in. Now water should be able to flow through your piezo. The last piece of equipment that we will plug in before setting up the, the piezo handpiece will be your foot pedal this is what you control your piezo with so that's going to go on the ground this part will plug into this here you just want to make sure you line it up plug it in here just kind of line it up and then press so now your piezo unit is set all the way up within your box you should have a little paper showing what tips you're going to use. This, use this as a guide to see what power and water frequency you're going to use. At the beginning of the semester, you should have received these tips. You have three tips. You have your universal, then your left and your right. You will also check out piezo handpiece from the sterilization. You have your wrench and then your handpiece. Connected to the piezo unit, you have a gray cord, which is this. This is very important because this is a newer piece. The older pieces will not connect. It's kind of like a puzzle, so you have to make sure you have the right one. These would be the correct piezo for this unit, or the correct piezo of your choice, because these prongs match with these. So you would just match these up, and boom, it snaps right on. The next thing you're going to do is take the, the tip of your choice. When you're taking the tip, you can pull, pull it off here. If you're gonna use your left, you would want to take your tip and take this wrench, not through this end, but through this end. You're going to push it right through and it should fit in. And at that point, you'll see these little squares or these little spirals within your piezo. They will fit right here. So you will literally take these, spin it until it goes on. Spin, spin, spin. And then once you get it snug, you're going to click it three times, turning one, two, three. And your piezo is fully set up. You would do the same thing to undo it, you would put your piezo tip, your wrench back on the piezo, 
and click it in turn. And then insert the next tip of your choice. And from there, you have completely and successfully set up your piezo unit.